Hi, this is Renee from the Bass Cave. Let's talk about bass strings from AliExpress. They keep popping up in the search, big brand names, Ernie Ball, Elixir, for insanely cheap prices. So I went and bought a regular Ernie Ball hybrid slinky set from a local retailer and I'm going to compare it head to head to the AliExpress product version of the same set. The packaging looks identical except for this little faded sticker on the back. I could decipher made in China, which does not sound at all like the big made in USA here at the front. Let's see what's inside. Everything looking the same, the same paper envelopes. The AliExpress printing is slightly darker and looks fresher, interestingly. The strings themselves, same silk wrapping, same taper towards the end. Under a magnifier, I tried to find a difference in winding or imperfections. Nothing. All I found is a wire sticking out near the ball end on the AliExpress ones. The color of the strings themselves is slightly different. The real Ernie balls have a light and bright silvery color. The AliExpress fakes have a grayish blue color. This is a trait of stainless steel strings and not nickel, as said on the packaging. <laughs> Just put on the real Ernie Ball strings, these are my first impressions. It's my favorite dimension of 45 for the G string. It gives me enough bottom end for higher notes instead of sounding too thin. <laughs> My previous set of strings were DR fat beams, a very good fit for jazz bass and very hard to beat. What do the burnies feel like? Beautiful silky new string sound, easy to slide, pretty sturdy, more stiff and less flexible, which is not a bad thing. Makes them fast and defined, very responsive. <laughs> Miracles happen when you play the bridge quicker. They very much lend themselves to juggle tone, very snappy in MIDI. When it comes to slap sound, the Ernie's are very modern, direct, bright, almost too sharp. I'm missing the Marcus Miller finesse, but it will cut through the mix. <laughs> When it comes to playing with the pick, I found them a bit too tinny and nasal. Definitely best with the neck pickup, P star. But altogether, very solid strings. The strong side they had with finger plucking, I would say. <laughs> Now, a week later, I just put on the fake AliExpress Ernie Ball strings. First impression is not the same strings. The metal color was a giveaway. They also feel and play different. My hunch is these are not nickel, but stainless steel strings. They feel rougher. Your fingers don't glide over them easily, left and right hand alike. I played with very expensive stainless steels before, they had the same sensation, so it does not mean only cheap steels are rougher. These AliExpress strings seem to have kept the sturdiness characteristic of the Ernest, I give them that. But I can feel how my fingers are stopped in that track sooner. Everything feels a bit harder, more unforgiving about unprecise notes. I feel I need more takes and tries to get something right. Licks and runs need more effort. Now the bridge pickup, still good for this type of top. But everything's more work, less forgiving 
of fret noise and time notes. <laughs> When it comes to slap sound, there's some bright eye spacing, especially for fresh strings. Slapping feels like it's more work, it seems my fingers simply miss the target pouring of the When it comes to playing with the pick, the fresh string feel is more or less missing for me. Altogether, I'm not having a great time with those strings. Let's check out the sound samples in a direct comparison. No equalizer, no compression, I just optimize the levels. I think if the sound difference between real and fake is subtle, the feel difference is quite a big one. The AliExpress strings are tackier, rougher and harder work, the fresh string feel is gone sooner. Some of this could be explained by them being stainless steel strings and not nickel plated, as the packaging says. When considering the huge price difference, do they sound 85% worse? Probably not. The AliExpress earnings are still mostly okay strings, but I'm happy to pay extra to get that better feel, and I play better through that alone. Your hands are always on your strings when playing, unlike the piano for instance. I want this part of the bass to be just the way I like it. It would be very interesting to find out how and why these strings, so similar yet so different, ended up in this packaging on AliExpress. Probably a trade secret, so to speak. Over and out from the base cave and in my dear countryman's words. Do it now. Subscribe. Now.